Hi everyone and welcome to Ola Testing Shit and the shit of the day is the new Seymour Duncan Dark Sun Digital Delay and Reverb Pedal designed in collaboration with Periphery's Mark Holcomb. <sighs> Seymour Duncan has teamed up with periphery guitar player Mark Holcomb to design a digital delay and reverb pedal. Even though it's a pedal, it feels like it's very thought through when it comes to the design. It's a stereo pedal where you decide the routing. Should the delay be before the reverb or vice versa? Or do you want only the delay to go out to the left output and reverb to the right output? There's a bunch of output options and that alone separates this from the majority of delay pedals out there. You have eight different delay modes, including reverse ping pong, reverse ping pong, quarter to eight notes, triplets, or a pattern of quarter and dotted eight notes. Over here, you have the delay time, which ranges from 50 milliseconds to five seconds. You have a feedback dial, a delay mix, and a trail on and off. If you have it on, the delay trail will decay when you bypass the pedal. For instance, if you go from a lead tone to a rhythm tone without delay, that last lead note will ring out into the rhythm tone. Just sounds better and you don't get a hiccup when bypassing the pedal. Okay, so let me demonstrate. So you can hear the delay trails of my lead tone going into the rhythm tone which does not have delay. Up here, you set the reverb size and reverb mix. Now, these controls are pretty standard for delay and reverb pedals. What the Dark Sun has though, is an additional tweak dial where you have access to more options. You have a low pass and a high pass filter, which is good for instance, if you want to uh, make your delay trails darker sounding or more thin sounding. You also have the option to add a modulation or chorus effect to the delay and reverb signals. You have a depth, a rate control, and a blend, which controls the modulation between the delay and the reverb. So you can choose if you want to use more modulation to the reverb and so on. The dynamic expression knob acts like a ducker in the sense that the pedal takes account for your playing. This is great for lead playing where you're playing fast passages and don't want the delay and reverb to interfere and take over the sound while you're playing, you know, a lot of notes, for instance. Okay, so let me demonstrate this. For instance, here, if I had the dynamic expression at zero... You know, it gets really mushy and, you know, everything just blends together and sounds uh, pretty awful. So let me dial up that dynamic expression a little bit and listen to it now. And as you can hear, the delay kind of kicks in when uh, I'm not picking as much. So if you're playing like really blazing lead solos, this is a really good dial just to make it the delay not interfere as much as you want into that fast playing, for instance, and you just get all that mush, but you can still get like the... the real cool long notes so you don't have to switch between two different uh, delay sounds. Now, all of these settings can be saved as a preset, and you have 32 different banks with four presets in every bank. And you can change the preset by clicking the button here, or using the foot switch, or control it with MIDI, as the pedal has both a MIDI in and a MIDI through output here at the back.
Okay, so right now I tweaked the low pass filter a little bit and as you can hear, the delays are now way darker than before. Okay, so right here I'm not using any low pass filter. You can hear the delays are kind of bright. Just as bright as the original signal, which doesn't work that well. But if you tweak it the other way around, it kind of takes away a lot of the high end. And it just sounds a lot more natural and more pleasant to the ear. The saturation parameter basically controls how saturated the wet signal will be. So let's... No saturation. Then... A little bit too much there. Let's add some modulation to this then. So you can hear that slight chorusy effect on the delay trails there. Oh yeah, awesome. That's cool. And then the blend parameter basically controls if you want the modulation to happen more on the reverb or on the delay or both. So... Okay, so this is the delay. Here we... it's on the reverb. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, so usually I'm not excited when trying delay pedals. I mean, they're usually great, but don't really offer anything different, but this pedal is making me happy inside of my body. The Dark Sun offers a lot of great features and modes that you don't see in pedal format. And I think the MIDI implementation, as well as all the extra tweakable options you have, makes this a great pedal that compares to more expensive rack units and so on. But I think the absolute best part is that it just sounds good out of the box. The presets that are in here are great starting points. And to be honest, I can sit for days just playing a clean note and see how it develops. It's really inspiring. 
If you want to know more about the Dark Sun, check out SeymourDuncan.com. I'm Ola testing shit. This was not shit. Love this. Thank you for watching.